Hey there, my name is Darcy Clark from Themify. Today I'm going to show you how to customize a few features of your website using the Themify framework that's bundled in every Themify theme. So let's get started. You'll see that I've already downloaded and installed uh, one of our Themify themes called Theme Min. And you'll also see that after you install it, a nice little submenu has been added here in the back end for your WordPress. Uh, install and you'll see that there's two sections one called settings and one called documentation for your theme so today we're going to be working in the styling section so I'm not going to worry about the settings or skins just the styling tab and within this tab you'll actually notice there's a bunch of sub tabs that actually deal with specific aspects of your theme so if you click on body font you'll see specific attributes that deal with certain elements on your website. So today I think I'm going to work with a background and, and add a nice little background image here for my theme. So you can upload an image quite easily using the framework. Just click upload, find a background image you want, and you'll see that the progress bar will come up. And right above uh, the background image, you'll actually see that there's a library here. So if I upload another image, you'll see that that image gets pushed to the side and another image comes in. And this will hold all your images that have been uploaded. And you can switch between them and it'll change which one you've selected. You can also delete from this menu. So here I'll select this nice blue gradient and I'm going to save this. Switch back over to my preview and you'll see I added this nice blue gradient to my theme. I don't like how it's repeating so I'm going to go back and change that. You'll notice that there's a couple other options here for background color, background repeat, and background position. To change that repeat I'm going to want to change this background repeat option. You see that there's a bunch of different options here, but I only want my background image to repeat on the x-axis. So I'll choose that and save it again. You'll see now I have this nice gradient fading out to white. I would like to change some of the theme text, so I'm going to go into that section called body font. You'll find there's a bunch of different options here as well, dealing with the font family, the color, size, line height, and so on. I think I'm going to change my text to be... I'll keep it as black actually. But I would like to actually change my logo type. I think I, because it's so high and it's at the top there with that blue background, I'm going to change it to white. Save it again. There you go, the site logo text. Save it. And you'll see that my text is now white. You can do a bunch of other things like change it to actually be an image, change the width and height of that image, or change the font family, font weight, font style, and so on. There's a bunch of different options here, but I hope that you'll go and explore it for yourself. Hopefully this has been helpful. Have fun customizing. Thanks.